For the past 5 videos, I've been developing this robotic arm. This time, I'm gonna add a pneumatic actuator to it and try to use it as a gripper. This is the mold of the gripper and there's three main things I wanted to try. I added three air runs, so the air will go in the middle and also at the sides. This should make it bulged out less. The second thing I wanted to try is to add a slope to this face. So at the start, you have this much air and as you get further from the gripper center, the slope goes down. So here, there's only this much air. This should make it bend more at the start and it will kind of wrap around any object you put in it. The last and most important thing I'm gonna add is the mount. It's really difficult to mount anything to the silicone and in my previous attempts I failed. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a completely different approach, which you're gonna see later. Alright, I'm preparing this stuff for casting the silicone. I'm gonna try to do this in two stages. The first stage, I'm gonna cast this silicone top with the air runs and this grip side. Okay, I fucked this up quite a lot. I've put so much part B that it started to solidify immediately. Fuck. It didn't quite fill in the gaps, so I'm gonna have to do this again. You can't stretch it, that's the whole point of this fabric by the way. The fabric prevents the grip side from expanding. So when you pressurize the gripper, the top expands, the bottom doesn't and it bends. Beautiful. This is probably the highest quality pour I've ever made. There's no bubbles, it looks really good. It also took like two days to solidify because I've put too little part B. I should probably start measuring it. You can see the excess to the air vent. So this is the mount piece, it should fit together well. Oh yeah, this is great. I think this will be airtight. Before I test this grouper out, I'm going to put heatset inserts into the manifold and test out the whole pneumatics at once. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I've basically put all of the electronics into these two PCBs. Learning to design them wasn't hard at all and it was also super cheap. If you use PCBWay, you get 10 PCBs for $5 and if it's your first time using them, you can click the link in the description and you will get a $5 discount for your first order. They also do manufacturing stuff like CNC machining, injection molding and 3D printing. So if you want to step up your projects, you can check them out. These are the pneumatic pieces. This is a mounting plate. I might make it a whole pneumatic box in the future, but right now it's just a mounting plate. This is the manifold which will distribute the air. So it has four holes. One is for the tubing that will go into the gripper. One is for the pump. One is for the solenoid and this is for the pressure sensor. For the pressure sensor it has a rear American thread. There are no heatset inserts for that, so I bought this adapter. This is not a heatset insert, but I will use it as one. So I will heat it up a lot and try to press it, maybe screw it into this hole. Okay, this should be pretty hot. Okay, this was successful, I hope. And the manifold is finished. Now I'm gonna attach the heatset inserts to this mounting plate, mount all the pneumatics 
connect it to the electronics and then we can test out the gripper. It's kind of annoying that when I want to mount the manifold onto the mounting plate I need to take out these pneumatic fittings. That's bad design from my part. Yeah, this solenoid mount also sucks. Whatever, it's a prototype. To connect the pump, I'm using this old silicone tube. Inside the tube, I put this pneumatic tubing. And this is gonna go into the manifold. Connect it to the electronics box. There are cables from the pump and I need to connect them here. I haven't changed the code, but I think there should be the test code left, which means that if I press one of these buttons, the pump should turn on. <laughs> yeah, nice. I'm just gonna put some heatset inserts into this mounting piece, and then I can test out the gripper. Nice, we can do the first test. I'm pretty sure something's gonna give out, probably the mount piece. Forgot to connect the solenoid. Okay. I'm gonna use this Velcro tape for cables. I've noticed there are some bubbles, there's a bunch of holes and they go all the way through. So I'm going to quickly mix up some silicone and seal them up. It's two days later, I've made some progress, I haven't been able to record everything, but I'm gonna show you what I've made. I fixed the pneumatics. The first thing I did is I made sure this manifold is airtight. So I went through all of the heat set inserts and I've melted the plastic around it. I also added this Teflon tape to every single thread. I tested it, I just short pneumatic circuited, I don't know how you call it, these two with a single tube and I pressurized it, it didn't leak. So I moved on to the gripper and I've managed to make a mount that actually works. It took me five tries, I think. I've landed on this design. You have this wedge. When you put the silicone tube around it and you tighten it with Velcro tape, the Velcro tape holds it together pretty well. And you can really slide it out if you make the Velcro diameter smaller than this diameter. You just press this inside. And then you take this Velcro tape and just put it around. Now it's secured. This mounting plate is so shitty, I'm not even gonna use it. Okay, now I can connect the gripper and the pneumatics have been added. Also, the gripper works just as I expected it to. Fuck, I just moved the arm by accident. So, when you start pumping the air in, the first thing that happens is this side bends. And when you increase the pressure, this end starts bending too. So this is the pneumatics. Now I'm going to show you the mechanical updates on the robotic arm. If I turn this potentiometer, and now I try to move it, you can see that the position gets filtered down. I've put a low pass filter on the X, Y, Z and gripper angle coordinates. This makes the movements more natural and smooth. The orange value is the goal position and the blue value is the filter signal. 
so you can see when I quickly change it, it takes a while before the blue signal catches up. If I lower the filter strength, it reacts quickly and if I increase it a lot, it takes a very long time before it catches up. I just photo something funny, just move it down, it's pretty cool. I've just printed the new gripper mount. I can screw in the mount because of this pneumatic fitting. It doesn't really matter, it's just a prototype. Uh, I haven't put too much thought into it. I'm gonna use it once for this video and then rebuild the whole arm. Okay, this is gonna be pretty tough. I'm not used to all of the degrees of freedom yet. I'm gonna try to pick up this cap. Let's move it down, change the angle. Engage the pump. Okay, I think this should be gripped. Okay, this is sick. Yeah, I should really add in some code for when you overreach the max position. By the way, these servos are quite strong, so if they hit you, it's gonna hurt. A huge problem is the workspace. It's really small, so whenever I try to move a bit to the side, it just goes crazy. That's just a simple fix in the code, I guess. Then I want to increase the workspace, so I'm gonna make this arm a lot bigger. And of course I need to upgrade this gripper again, which sucks because this is probably a 10th iteration or something. So if you want to support my shitty projects, check out my Patreon and I'll see you next time.